I don't know how to. Your big fingers, yeah. (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Time to go live. Happy first day of spring, NHL Now, of course. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. We are excited to take off the week with you. Welcome to NHL Now. Dr. Evan, alongside Mike Johnson. Seven weeks in the house. My good friend. Uh, I can say that now, right? We're almost a full season in. Almost, yeah. NHL Now, let's go. Your eyes are actually a crazy color today. Do you see them? Are they? Yeah. What color are they? They're like a blend of very soft teal and yellow. My eyes are weird. My eyes like change color. This, this is a good one. So on the docket today, I have a pretty busy day actually. I have my normal show from four to six that I need to prep for. And then I have a rehearsal for Quick Pitch, which is a massive show over at MLB Network. It's currently hosted by the Heidi Watney, um, she's going on maternity leave, so I am doing a rehearsal tonight. Not gonna lie, kinda nervous. It's not technically an audition, but still. We got a knitted tie. Yep. And a mess with those vans. Yes. So we are, with throw, it's throwback to the new back. What, yeah, what, what goes out of style comes I know. back in style. It all right? comes back it's around. Like from like seven, uh, it's serious. The Bruins haven't held the top spot Gentlemen, how do we feel about the show? Good, good show? show? It was a number good show. Oh, oh that was his oh, ring finger. That was my ring finger. It was his ring finger. Oh, Don't get it twisted. Okay. Number one. From- so right now I have just finished my show from four to six NHL now. And I am sitting in makeup waiting to do a rehearsal for quick pitch. So, my hair is in my face for some reason. Look at the lens, Jackie. I'm still new at this. Okay, so I can't, it's like I can't stop looking that way. So I just got home and I am super excited because the quick pitch rehearsal uh, went really, really well. I was super nervous because I, I didn't prep at all. I mean, I basically ended my show, sat in the makeup room, waited for them to sort of come over and give me some highlight scripts since like I didn't know what the scripts were I didn't know what we were doing and I sort of just said you know what like let's just wing it who cares and I think I did like a pretty good job and I heard through the grapevine that they were pretty impressed with me so that's super cool just from the standpoint of like I watch quick pitch I've watched it for a while and it's a show that I really like and part of me moving entire countries and coming here was obviously for the job at NHL Network, but was also because it was the perfect spot for me. Hockey and baseball are my two favorite sports. I'm in the building of both leagues. And I'm just, I mean, I don't know really like how many quick pitches I'm going to actually do, but just to have been in there and done it and done a good job makes me really happy. It just feels like I'm trending in the right direction. And when you move to a new country and take a new job and leave something that was very comfortable for you, it's scary. So to feel like you're doing well and are on the right path is comforting. And it's just nice to feel like I made the right choice in coming here and that I am, am doing well so far. So happy girl. So my vlogging journey continues, but you'll notice that all of my vlogging to the camera is in like rooms where I'm by myself because I'm still very terrified. Even right now, like I'm speaking with a quieter voice, but I'm in a locker room by myself. Why am I speaking so quiet? Why do I think people can hear me? Why do I care? Like, yes, I'm vlogging. What are you looking at? Stop looking at me. Guys, look at me, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging in public. I accomplished my goal. 
Except I didn't. There's nobody in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you noticed that, but when I was like, you know, trying to be funny vlogging in the gym by myself, as soon, I don't know if you noticed, there was a person coming out of the change room and I immediately got scared and turned it off. I'm bad at this. Do my makeup. They're laughing at me. See, this is why I can't vlog in front of people because they laugh at me. I wasn't even looking at the lens. See, rookie, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> Meeting time. I'm Instagramming all these people without permission. It's probably not a good idea. Hi, Collins. Hi. <laughs> He's our producer. Okay, bye. On today's show, we have Bill Lindsay. He's looking at some tape right now. And Reader! He's busy. <laughs> for episode one and I can't get a bitmoji, a bitmoji uh, to like pop up and go down. Which of course is super frustrating if it's gonna take me this long just to get a bitmoji to pop up. I, I don't see how I'm gonna get this first episode ready in time. How? Uh, legit, I have 10 year olds. I'm watching 10 year olds right now on YouTube. Teach me, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Wednesday, let's go. Was to talk to you guys on the way to the train station and it is a blizzard well not a blizzard that's a bit of an exaggeration a little bit dramatic Jackie but um, snowing quite heavily it is Wednesday and also feisty Friday is in two days and I don't have a topic yet so I'm a little bit stressed about that need to figure that out and figure out what I want to rant about um, to the people anyways my phone's gonna break if I let it get any wetter, so peace. Of course, I get to the train station and the weather's so bad that a bunch of the trains are canceled. What's up, 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 what's up? Hi, LA. Welcome back to my office that looks like a closet. I should just start pretending it's a closet. It's not though not a closet. Who is the better matchup in the first round for the Toronto Maple Leafs? And I might be crazy. I kind of feel like maybe Tampa's a better first round matchup. Someone in the comments just said that I have a big head. But the thing is, the joke is on that person because I actually read an article, there was a study done that said people with larger craniums are more successful. So thank you for the compliment. I love my big head. I gotta go prep now. These chats every day at lunch, they are short, but they're sweet, right? Okay, so right now I just left work and I am going to meet my friend Jen Urbanski, who I actually started on the exact same day with at the SCORE television network. Uh, we always get into trouble, so this is gonna be ridiculous. So this is a place called Barn Ju or Barn Yu. I don't know, it's in New York City and it is Korean. Where is she, where is she, where is she? I don't know where she is. Hi, uh, I'm meeting my friend. She had a reservation under Jen, Jen Urbanski. I think we just said Jennifer oh, Urbanski, right? Yeah. Thank you. I found you. I'm recording you. <laughs> this is Jen Urbanski. Oh my God. My fellow Canadian. Look how cool this place is. I love this place. 
Very cool. Okay, so Jen and I started at the Score Television Network on the exact same day. So if there is anybody that can sort of tell you, well, I'm leaning too far into the bad light. If there's anybody that can tell you anything about me, she would be someone. So, so bad at this. Why doesn't it turn around? Like, what the hell? I'm, I'm a rookie. If you could tell people, like, one trait about me, what would it be? <laughs> You're like the most ambitious girl I know. Yes. <laughs> sure, that's a good. Oh, my thumb looks so weird. You know what that story reminds me of when you say that we started on the same day? I posted on Instagram that we started as two shy girls at the store. And Chris Barrow uh, commented and was like, two shy girls, what? And it's because like we both started the same day. Yeah. And we didn't know anyone. And so we were we were shy for like one day. <laughs> like legitimately one day. Yeah, one day. We were. And now look at us in New York City, crushing it. And your chicken is burning, bro. Oh shit! I gotta go. <laughs>couldn't sleep last night, overslept, and now I'm late. I hate it when I'm late. You can chalk me up for three days in a row now where I have told myself I'm gonna get up at 6 a.m. and edit, I'm gonna get up at 6 a.m. and edit, and then it's snooze, snooze, snooze. So, not gonna beat myself up about it. I have a lot to do today. I have to do Major League Baseball updates, and I have my NHL hockey show from four to six on NHL Network. Then we have to post our Jack and Soap video, and I need to make time to respond to comments, promote a segment from yesterday with Kevin BX that was really, really good, and then I, of course, have to make time to edit this vlog if I ever want it to go up. I'm not stressed, you're stressed. So considering how long it takes me to edit one four and a half minute video every Friday, oh, here it is. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get this vlog situation under control. I want to do it so bad, but it's so much work. Getting the footage, editing the footage, finding music, don't even get me started on finding like uncopyrighted music that you can use on YouTube. That is a task and a half. Um, anyways, I'm feeling super accomplished right now because I did finish my Feisty Friday video and it will be able to go up tomorrow. I also created a nice little title page, so I'm pretty excited about that, but in terms of this vlog and episode one of Diary of a Female Sportscaster right now is in jeopardy. I, the whole thing might be in jeopardy. I mean, I'm, I feel super overwhelmed. Like, I know that people would enjoy seeing, you know, what it's like behind the scenes in television. And I want to give that to people. But, like, it's so much work. And I just don't know if I can handle it. And I don't say those words a lot. Good night. Okay guys, so obviously it's been a week, so I did not get this first episode up when I actually wanted to. It's been really hard. Just like in terms of doing my actual job, my career, that's my first priority, but then also having the time to shoot everything, to edit it all, I'm doing it all myself. So it's taken me a really long time, but I don't wanna give up on it. So the reason that I'm telling you guys all of this is not because I want to complain, I'd like to keep it positive and light, but I just want you to know why this episode, the footage that you're seeing in it, is actually from two weeks ago. So that's why the footage is a little bit old. I'm really sorry, but I am learning. I've never really vlogged before. It's been really, really hard, but I do want to do this, so I am going to keep going. There will be a second episode. Hopefully it will be better than the first. But the moral of the story in episode one is that damn man vlogging is hard i would love to hear your comments what would you like to see what would you like to see more of less of um any ideas that you have for the vlog i would love to hear them leave them in the comments i want these to get better i really am doing these you know to learn more and to and to kind of document my life a little bit so that i have something you know when all this is over to look back on and for you guys so hopefully though you enjoyed this very amateur work in progress first episode 
of my vlog, Diary of a Female Sportscaster. Number two, episode number two. Next up, you will see me in Vegas, baby. Should be good.